name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 In a way, with the ascension, Christ completes his work on earth, but it's not completed because in his ascension, his work is continued in us. I'd like you to keep your eyes on the last parable <coughs> of the Gospel. And here are spelt out our duties post the ascension of Christ. Here are spelt out our duties of the great commandment that ends Matthew. It begins, I have made your name known to those whom you gave me from the world. Each of us have given continual opportunities to present Christ to the world. That is our obligation and that is our duty because there is no one else to do it. Rest assured that we are guided continually by the Holy Spirit, but that is our responsibility. You see, they were gods, but they've now been given to us. And it is our duty to help them keep your word. <coughs> they know that everything you have given me is from you. And in much the same way, every gift that you have, every ability that you have, your intelligence, your disposition, everything that you have is a gift from God. And the purpose of that gift from God is to bring others to God. <coughs> and they have received them and know them in truth that I came from you. We come from God. God is our Father. We are God's children. God loves us. God inspires us. But this is the work that God gives us to do. I'm asking on their behalf. I'm not asking on behalf of the world. The world puts many obligations upon us. We all have our livings to live, our finances to manage. There are those obligations that society puts upon us. There are those obligations that we have put upon us through our roles, whether it be husband, wife, father, mother, daughter, son, citizen. We have those obligations, but over and above those obligations, we're not asking on behalf of the world, but on behalf of our responsibilities to the children of the world, whom God has given us, because they are His. It goes on, all mine are yours, and yours is mine, in exactly the same way. God has given you all the gifts that you need to fulfill His will. He has given you those gifts. Your choice, really, and mine, is to exercise them. It goes on, and now I am no longer in the world. You see, we're in the world, but we're not of the world. We are saved, being saved, and will be saved. So we live in three coordinates. We are saved, we are being saved, and we are saved. And it is through fulfilling our obligations to God that we will have our salvation. Yes, of course salvation comes through faith, but it also comes through works. It is no good, and it says, doesn't it, 
It's not by saying, Lord, Lord, that you enter into the kingdom of heaven, but by doing everything that is his will. And then this great, great part from the penultimate, end of the penultimate system. And I am coming to you. Isn't that our joy and isn't that our wonder? That we are coming to God. The whole of our life is, is working towards our own ascension into heaven. The whole of our lives. And that's what we're working for and that's what we're doing. And we ask, Holy Father, protect them in your name that you have given me so that they may be one as we are one. So that they may be one as we are one. Isn't that a great privilege that we can be one with God? Exercising that Godhead that is in each one of us. So let us rejoice in the ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us rejoice, too, that we are now part of God's work, and that one time, at one time, each one of us, each one of us will face death, and after death will come ascension. Let us rejoice and be glad that we have this great mission, this great mission, to bring others to Christ, and through bringing others to Christ, we will know Christ even more and more and more. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen.